Good morning, guys. Welcome to Southern Hike. I'm Taylor. I'm Rachel. Today is day three at the Timberline Trail around Mount Hood. Uh, it was definitely a lot cooler last night, and uh, we are cooking some breakfast up right now. About to uh, put up camp. I'm probably going to do a little over 10 miles again today. It'll be another big one. Hopefully not as much incline as yesterday. If you haven't watched the first two videos, I'll link the first one above. Make sure to check those out first, and I'll link all the videos below. We're going to go ahead and get packed up and get on trail and see what else there is to explore around Mount Hood and its beautiful place. So, Metro on the move. Told us to try this Terratopia, so we got the oatmeal as one of the meals in this trip. It's a very simple meal, but we're going to test it out and see how it is. I had the blueberry. And I got the strawberry. It looks so good. Like, look. Look at that. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, go ahead and sample it. I'm going to give it the Tim Buckley taste test. Mm. Oh yeah, that's really good. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Well, we put less water in it, depending it on thick. if uh, you like it thick or watery. Um, but we did thick, and it tastes real good. All right, one five. Or it could be a half. For oatmeal, I would say it's a five. All right. <laughs> the results are in. So we are at Elk Cove. We uh, just loaded up. There's a ton of people camping around us. We have discovered everywhere. We just went to the creek to get water, and there was a ton of people there. So I know this is a really popular spot, but we still were pretty secluded where we were at. We had a lot of people trying to check in where we were at last night, though, but we knew that we were already camping in that spot. But we were headed to Cloud Cap this morning. Half that sign has broke off. <laughs> we're ready to get on trail. Are you ready, baby? Yep. <laughs> so uh, we just got full of water, like I said, and uh, I'm probably estimating 12 to 15 miles a day. We will let you know later in the video what it ends up being. Hopefully not as much incline today because uh, our legs are beat from yesterday. Ooh. Ended up my uh, Gaia GPS app said we did like 3,500 foot of elevation yesterday. So yeah, feeling it. But follow us along as we start day three. through an intense river and then I'll go ahead and list it on the the uh, video the actual river it is because I'm not gonna look right now but man that one was definitely the most challenging so far but we found a good narrow spot and just kind of went through as you've seen in the video but then we got back up here on these switchbacks and got turned around because there was so many blowdowns but then we finally figured that one out too there was actually a little like handwritten sign on the tree that directed you to turn back it just didn't look you couldn't see it because there's so many blowdowns but anyways we'll continue to move forward
we are continuing. We're about four miles in now. We've already hit a couple solid water crossings, as you've seen, but nothing too crazy yet. I could see for sure, like Rachel is shorter, uh, it goes almost to your waist if you're like five foot tall. So it can be a little intense. The water definitely pushing hard. For sure manageable. Definitely want trekking poles to help you stand, but it's not that bad. This is absolutely a gorgeous part of the trail too. And we're just really enjoying it. We're gonna keep continuing making our way. We're about near uh, Clouds Gap. And then we will be headed to Newton's Creek. That's the goal today. And we'll kind of see where we're at miles wise and make sure that that seems sufficient enough. That we put enough miles in the day that way we can finish out in the morning. pretty good not too bad going through the creeks are pretty cool so that's been a challenge it's been a little incline but nothing crazy like yesterday so and I'm so hungry and there's no flies it's a lot better than yesterday mm -hmm. you can't sit and eat a snack they're all over you cloud cap trailhead we just had lunch went up that crazy creek and i just packed in my camera then then we had to go up some wild switchbacks but now we're getting back on trail you ready yep let's do it so i heard that the sand was rough man this is absolutely brutal rachel's coming up behind me now and wow it's like walking on the beach up the trail is just like torturing us. This trail brings everything at you. It is an adventure for sure. Hopefully I'm not blowing out too much, but we are continuing to make our back, way back down. We got up to about 7,300 foot of elevation, roughly. Uh, and we're trying to make it to Newton Creek now. We've had like one guy, solo hiker, and then uh, two other girls who are hiking. They're kind of like, we've been bouncing back and forth for the last couple of days because they're doing the same loop we are. But I'm not sure about trips. I'm not sure what their goal is, but I know we want to get there. That way we have a short hike tomorrow back to the car. But definitely there's some spots on the top of the mountain up here, as you can see on the map, and we've seen them crossing. But whew, I don't know if I want to be that exposed as much. And you're nowhere near any water. So, yeah, have fun with that. We're going to go down to the creek. It looks like on the map right now, we're probably, uh, probably around two miles, maybe roughly, maybe three miles. But we ain't too far out. It's just declining now. My feet have already got 10 miles on today. So, yeah, it's a little bit of a beating. We're going through the Christmas tree section. All right, 
We have made it to camp. <laughs> we are chilling. I hope you can hear us. I can tell I got sunburn too in my face. We are at Newton's Creek. There's already a bunch of people beside us. We kind of were on the same track as a bunch of other people. But you can see we kind of set tent up behind right some way. Rachel right there. And then uh, we just had some peak refill dinner, some ones we already had before. We just traded them out. And then we just crossed Newton's Creek tonight. Right down there. We found a good spot to cross and uh, just went ahead and got across even though I didn't want to get wet again because we had dried out pretty good when we were on top of that mountain today. But it is what it is. So we will see y'all in the morning. We're going to enjoy our evening and definitely sleep. sleep. Yeah, and we'll see you in the morning. Is the final day of our trip We've probably got seven or eight miles left we'll see I'm hoping that I guess is right definitely under 10 for sure but beautiful morning we packed up before daybreak it gets light super early here but it's definitely true that the water level goes way down overnight because the Sun isn't sitting on the snow on Mount Hood but as you can tell we're already back in some incline headed up Rachel's back there somewhere and we're working our way on out of here. Final leg, back on the PCT for just a minute and we'll be at the lodge. Are you excited to almost be there? Yes, <laughs> hungry. Very hungry, ready for greasy food and hot showers. <laughs> Crawling. Let's keep going. This is literally like walking on a beach during this section of the trail. It makes you go twice as slow. So close. It's right here. You ready, baby? Be done? Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Woo! We made it. We're back at the PCT Junction. There's the lodge. Oh my god. 
so tired. Well, we're not we're not even gonna care that the uh, trash dump guy is behind us. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're back in the car. We just stopped at Wendy's and hung out for a while because we were waiting for check-in for our hotel. <laughs> We still stink pretty good, but we fit in at the Wendy's, so. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, we just chowed down. I'll make sure to post a picture of our glorious lunch, but it was awesome. It tasted really it's good. Instead good of, but still hungry. Yeah, instead of backpacking food, too, for sure. So we ended up using all of our snacks from our meal, like the three-day, what, three, no, four-day, three-night uh, video I did. So we chowed on all of it. And it was all very good, wasn't it? It's the wish. <laughs> Still hungry now, like Rachel said. But anyways, this is an awesome trip. If you got any questions about this loop, please comment them below. This is definitely a, a loop not for beginners. It was for sure a uh, challenge in itself, but we really enjoyed it. Really hope you enjoyed these videos. Like, again, make sure to comment below. If you watched all the way through, we'd be happy to know. And uh, like I said, if you got any questions, let us know too. Guys, if you enjoyed all of this, make sure to like these videos. We really appreciate it. it really supports the channel. We're really thankful you watched them all. And we will see you soon.